This is the Jerry Show, and this is the Saramonic SR-AX107. This is a two-channel XLR audio adapter. This will turn any XLR microphone, and it will connect into here, and it pre-amplifies it and sends it to your camera. Now, not only does it have a pre-amplifier, it also has phantom power, which means that it will also power a microphone. It can be 12 or 48 volts. Now the AX107 does run off a 9 volt battery that is not included and this is basically which will power the actual audio adapter and also give off that phantom power. Now the Ceramonic mounts right on the bottom of most DSLR cameras, it just screws in there very nice and it's all contained in one unit. You're already looking at the back of your camera, you just look down a little bit. It's very convenient to have that audio and the controls right there. Now on the bottom of the Ceramonic itself, we have another 3 8 and 1 4 female, so we can attach that to a tripod. And if we look on the sides here, we have the hot shoe or I don't know, hot shoe, cold shoe, but you can put though, you know, attach if you want to attach a monitor off to the side or whatever you could even mount the microphone right here if you didn't want it on top of your camera for whatever reason now if we take a look through the controls here i just want to go through the controls we have the right and left we have two different channels on this we can hook up just one microphone to this or we can hook up two for stereo even if we do hook up just one we can either record mono or stereo so if we wanted to we could just hook up one and still get the stereo sound now for the peaking, the peaking is for, you can keep that on or off, I just keep it off, because the peaking, if these levels, you can see I'm talking, I got the left one, which I, or this is the right one I have on the camera, and then the left one I have kind of hiding here underneath the headphones. So that's why it's picking up, and I can adjust the two different ones right here, left and right channels, but I wanna move on here. Uh, we have the power, off on this turns the whole unit on and off and moving on we have single mono this is just mono is one out of one speaker uh, stereo would be out of both and then we have the ph mic in line now ph stands for phantom power so this microphone it's the audio tech technica i can't remember the specific model right now but this does not have phantom power or it needs phantom power to run i think it takes a battery but i don't have a battery in it However, the Movo microphone I have here does have a battery in it, so that way I don't need phantom power. So you can see right here, I have that one set to mic, and then this one is set to pH, which is phantom power. The other one would be line, and that's when you're gonna be listening to playing back videos or you know whatever. Um, going down here further, we have a headphone input, and that way you can monitor while you're recording. Uh, to, to the left of that we got the right and left those are just the different inputs and you can adjust those of course um, then we have the phantom power like I said you can switch that between 12 volts and 48 volts if you don't use phantom power like I said you just switch it over there to the mic or MIC uh, automatic gain control if we switch that off for a second notice the left channel it's getting a straight, it's getting that 20, I think it's a 20 kilohertz or that tone or that noise. You don't want that on, so just turn on the automatic gain control and that will kill that noise and should take care of the issue. And we have monitor, and the monitor, do you want to listen, to, are you gonna play back or are you recording? So you'll need to have that switch to record when you want to monitor. You can see I have my headphones plugged in right here. And also, I mean, that's just, what I would usually do is plug in through my camera just because I want to hear the audio directly from my camera. That's just the way I like to do it. But in this situation, I have it set up so you can listen to it through these headphones now too. And we have an, a monitor. The monitor basically be an outport to like a uh, mixer or some something like that. I don't have a use for that right now, but you do have that option. So those are the basic controls on the AX107. Now this little cord is included with it, and I just ran that from my camera to the actual preamplifier here, but I wanted to spin it around real quick and just show you the XLR inputs on the back and also where the battery can be found. You can see we have, they're labeled left and right, and then they have these push buttons, and you just push in. I got a kind of a tangle going on here, but you just push in like that. You hear a nice click, and these are real nice. I mean, I don't have any complaints with them whatsoever. They click in and click out as they're supposed to and they have that nice release there but even if someone were to get tripped or you know trip on one of your cords if you do have this ran out uh, these probably ain't gonna come out so someone's probably gonna yank down your camera or 
microphones or whatnot but overall i'm definitely digging it it works very well and it's very convenient very handy to just even leave strapped to the camera for on camera audio if you're going to do audio setup for stereo whatever but that's the ceremonic srax 107 thanks for watching